Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights over Arkham. This is another Eye of Chaos series video where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for that investigator and play the Midnight Masks on standard difficulty and see how well we can do. So again, last time we got a mystic, so again <laughs> repeating the same old song that hopefully we get another class this time to get some variety to the investigators we are getting. So uh, there aren't that many uh, Mystic Investigators left, so hopefully this time we can hit some other class. So here are all of our, or, or all of my Investigator tokens, so we are picking one at random. And this time's Investigator is uh, Joe Diamond, so a Seeker uh, Guardian Investigator. So finally something a bit different, and actually... Joe is a pretty good fighter and uh, investigator, so hoping Joe does well in this uh, challenge. So let's hop over to Arkham DP to start building the deck for Joe. Okay, so we are over at ArkhamDP.com, so let's search for Joe here, and there is Joe, create the deck. And we'll see what we get for Joe. So we are using the Seeker and Guardian cards level 0. So let's see what we get. Okay, well, mm, Joe is another investigator with a lot of um, deck size. The problem is that uh, do we have enough Hunch cards? Conscious 6, so we don't have enough inside cards for this deck to be legal. So, um, unless this is uh, the Hunches reads enough, so we need uh, 10 or uh, 11 if this be legal. So, we're just hitting this chaos button until we do. Okay, so 14, so this is legal, so we'll go with this one. Uh, first off, assets, we got the Book of Psalms, uh, not good for Joe. Uh, pocket Telescope, this is uh, from the Edge of the Earth, and I think this might be pretty good for Joe. Uh, then we have the Sledgehammer, so good fighting card, but maybe we don't want that because we want to have the Telescope or something. But and then again, we don't have uh, a lot of other hands of items except the detective called. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is actually a tool, so this synergizes well with the detective's called because we get up to two tool assets in addition to the hand slots. Then we have a disc of Itzamna, and not really liking this card. Again, <laughs> we get the riot whistle. Uh, other uselessness. Bandolier times two, so okay, we could mm, uh, play this, get the sledgehammer in play, and still have the pocket telescope. So, some synergy there. Heavy first. Uh, after you reveal a non uh, auto fail symbol or a chaos token during a skill test, you are performing deal one damage to heavy first, cancel that chaos token, and return it to the pack. pack. Reveal a new chaos token, so this could be useful. Uh, one copy of Sledge Dog, so more doggies into the deck. Uh, not synergizing that well because we don't only have one, but still. Uh, Tetsu Amori lets us uh, fetch for an important item asset, so that is good. Uh, field work, really good for Joe. Safeguard. Not useful in true solo, true treat again. Uh, health soak, so not utterly bad. Events we have a get behind me. Uh, useless in true solo because there are no other investigators. Clean them out, gaining resources when fighting. That's pretty okay. Emergency cash, always useful. On the hunt. Might be useful. Practice makes perfect. Well, 
not sure because we haven't built the deck around this card, so not interested. Taunt, mm, and not good. Two copies of Temp Fate, so we could just actually not add the Bless and Curse tokens and just get this as a, a wild, resort, uh, wild event or wild symbol. Uh, five skills, we have one Inquiry Mind, always good. Inspiring Presence might be good. Perception good. Steadfast, it is pretty good in Job. And one copy of Unexpected Courage, which is always pretty good. Uh, hunches, we have a Connected Dots. Not good in. Well, it might be if we leave a clue behind and fetch it with. Uh, yeah, discard two clue. This could be good. Crack the case, uh, resource generation for seekers, uh, cryptic writings. Mm, it's a bit too special and. Uh, well, gain two resources as you draw. Yeah, not, not, not liking this. Uh, deep knowledge, always good. Or I had uh, just cryptic writing. So, oh. uh, the deep knowledge is an achievement for the. Okay, yeah, well, it's card draw, so it's pretty good. Evidence, mm, always uh, okay. Logical reasoning might be good. No stones unturned, uh, pretty good for a hunch deck card. Persuasion. Uh, we have a lot of humanoid enemies, so this might be too useful. Uh, Preposter sketches, card draw, nothing special. Truth from fiction, uh, not useful, but we ha it, it gives to um, icons, so I think this won't go into the Hunts deck, but into our deck, so we can read it. Uh, Unearthed the Ancients, we don't have that many relics, so not useful. And working a Hunts every time, this is really good, if we get it at the right time. So, our basic weakness is... Uh, oh, <laughs> that is rough. Then the more poses, so if we hit this, we lose our hand slot items. So that is nasty. So, uh, that is the deck. Next up, we are building the deck, and uh, we'll see how this goes. I am, I have high hopes. For finally getting something else than a mystic for this so uh, really looking forward to playing joe in this challenge so i'll build the deck and let's get started okay so we are ready to begin our gameplay with joe diamond uh, as usual joe has the hunch deck over here and the draw deck over here. Everything is shuffled, so we are ready to begin. So, if you are not familiar with Joe, Joe will get a, a free hunch card to play every turn. And uh, if you don't use it during the investigation phase, it gets shuffled it back into the hunch deck. And also, if Joe pulls an Elder Sign token, uh, we can put one of the played inside cards from our discard. Uh, the bottom of the um, uh, hunch deck and I am pretty sure I will forget to use the hunch deck uh, at some point during this game that is just usual when playing Joe but we'll do our best so let's see um, we start at your house the cool priest and is in the encounter deck as usual we are playing on standard difficulty let's draw our opening hand to see what we get so our starting hand is uh, we'll shovel the weakness back, bandolier, taunt, under, unearth the ancients, temp fade, and clean them out. Um, I think 
bones can go in the mouth can go this can go I'll keep the honor the ancients just to well, I, actually no I'm throwing all of it again you'll get uh, inspiring presence inspiring mind practice made perfect on the hand and true grit not the best starting hand but it is what it is so we'll do our best to use it effectively I think Joe doesn't have problems investigating in most places, so we are saving the boost cards for those locations with four or three uh, shroud. So that is uh, enough shuffling. So we'll begin. So at the start of the investigation phase, we'll flip this. So of course we get the unsolved case right away. And I'm just ignoring that because uh, in uh, Standalone, this just doesn't do that much. We would uh, have to place one of our clues to the location with the highest shroud uh, when we play that, so we just won't play it. Uh, first action, I'll investigate at your house. Uh, investigating 4 versus 2. Not committing anything, it's a tablet. Minus three if you play base one of your clues on this occasion. Will we just fail? Second action, I'm investigating again. Four versus two. Actually committing this. So five versus two. Skull, it's uh, zero at the moment, so we'll grab this clue. Last action, uh, let's move to River Town. And that is our turn. At the end of the phase, uh, we didn't play this, so we mm, should get shuffled. So we add it to our threat area. It doesn't do uh, anything. We would just get too fewer uh, experience at the end of the game. But why even bother? Well, actually, let's back up uh, because. We try to get as many experience in this as we can, so uh, as my last action, I'll just, uh, before investigating, so for my first action, I will actually play this. So this gets uh, removed from the game, and uh, we have a minus two discount for cards on the hunch deck, so we'll just pay two resources to get rid of this. So. A bit backsies, but it is what it is. Uh, so we didn't move there. So upkeep, we draw a card. Disc of his Sala. And uh, we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. One of six encounter card for this turn is uh, Obscuring Fog. So actually it doesn't do anything. It just raises the Route level here, but we don't care. Uh, I think first action we'll just move here. I think, think we are good with resources and cards. River Town is a one shot location with one clue. Second action, oh yeah, hunt deck. Uh, we get evidence. I think we are not playing that. So uh, move. Second action, investigate. Oh yeah, this uh, actually left was left from the last game, so uh, there are no cursed tokens yet in the back, so I'm just redrawing. <laughs> Auto fail, why? Of course. Last action, uh, investigate again. Minus one, we are able to grab this clue. And uh, at the end of the phase, evidence gets shuffled back into the Hunch deck. So because this hunch deck is not that optimized, I think I'm doing this shuffling a lot in this game. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw heavy first, so this is a new card, uh, cost 2. Uh, after you reveal a non um, auto fail symbol on a chaos token during the skill test, you are performing deal 1 damage to a heavy burst, cancel the chaos token and return back. 
deal on it, so I'll get some interesting cars. Might be useful. So, uh, that was the upkeep, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, and count car is. It is the ghoul priest, so it spawns at uh, the, your house. At this point, we are not uh, ready to fight the ghoul priests because we don't have um, weapons. So I think we are spawning an enemy and running. So that was the myth uh, mythos phase. So uh, we start the investigation phase. Track the case. Okay, not that useful. We will uh, spend the clues to spawn a cultist. I think we have to shuffle these two. I always forget to shuffle these in between uh, play sessions. So, just quick shuffle and we get this Wolfman Drew. Unfortunately, we are not that uh, geared up to fight yet. So, we'll spawn Wolfman Drew up there. But we have to think of something else to do at the moment, so... Uh, let's see, uh, second action. Okay, uh, let's see. This is not that useful, this is not that useful. I think we will just head to the graveyard. Hope to get a weapon soon enough, but... Yeah, we might need to do it out with the cool priest without a weapon, but it is what it is. So second action, we move to the graveyard. It is a one-shot location with two clues. After you enter the graveyard, test will fall free. So I am committing a true crit and this it out with the test and uh, might as well in mind, so I think I'll save the true crit this time. So five, six versus three. It is a minus three, so we barely pass and don't take any horror. Last action, I will uh, investigate. So investigating four versus one. No point in committing anything at this point. Minus two, we'll grab one clue, and that is our turn. Enemy base, the cool priest stands here. We'll go to upkeep, we draw one card, safeguard, useless one resource, and that is that turn. Oh yeah, at the end of the uh, investigation phase, we shuffle the card back into Hunt deck. So is that okay? That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom and counter card is uh, acolyte, so we want to spawn it at the location. We are pretty visiting, so I'll spawn it at East Town. Gets a doom. So it spawns here. That is the middle space, so uh, we'll go to the investigation phase. So we get a card, it is connected dots. Okay, after you discover the last clue at your location, discover two clues at the location with the lower printed road value that you than your location. So uh, not that useful at our situation. Uh, I think we are investigating. After that, we are drawing, to trying to find a weapon. So, first action, investigate. Auto fail, why not? Uh, second action, investigate. Minus two, so we'll grab the clue. Uh, last action, we'll actually spend the clues so we don't lose them to draw another cultist. 
and it is root turner so have to defeat it or evade so not really liking what we are getting we have no weapons to fight uh, we are bad at this not be turned around uh, we don't have good ways to evade this one no good ways to fight these two not getting good cards so that was the investigation phase so we'll shuffle this back enemy phase uh, ghoul priest hunts here engages us hits us for two damage two horror and i think we need to try to evade it or just start punching and take the damage Yeah, that is the enemy phase. We go to upkeep, uh, we draw emergency cash, not helpful, and one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, encounter card is Hunting Shadow. You must either choose one. We don't have any clues, so we can't uh, spend a clue, so we'll have to take the two damage. And that is not good. Uh, we really don't have any way to evade, so might as well start punching. I'm committing uh, heavy first. Oh yeah, um, hunch deck persuasion. Oh, uh, actually, oh, this helps us because the ghoul priest is a humanoid. Call I choose a non weakness humanoid enemy at your location and test intellect free. This test gets uh, plus X difficulty where X is that enemy's horror value. If you succeed, shuffle the chosen enemy into the encounter deck. If the chosen enemy is elite, you automatically evade. So we are actually playing this. So, first action, Harley, it gets plus uh, 3, uh, plus 2 because the horror value is 2. We are even uh, parlaying uh, four versus five, but we can boost that. I'll commit the on the hunt and uh, in inspiring presence. So we are evading um, six versus five. Hopefully we are able to do so. So a zero, uh, the ghoul priest is evaded. Uh, because it's elite, it doesn't go to the um, encounter deck. So that actually helped us a lot. Now we are able to run away. And last action. I think we need to... Try to find a weapon, so let's not move more. Uh, we'll just uh, draw a car with our last action. Temp fate is not a good one. Well, uh, we'll actually temp fate, so as a fast action, we'll play it. We'll add three curse tokens to the back and three blessed tokens to the back. Maybe a stupid decision, but uh, we also draw one card. So field work. Uh, still, uh, we are looking for the weapons. No enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. Um, we'll draw a card. Uh, Tetsuo Mori. I think we'll play that, and we'll gain a resource. So that is that turn. Uh, the cool priest readies. Uh, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, and because the uh, acolyte is here, we actually advance, so that is not good. And we'll get the mask hunter. So uh, it spawns on us. Encounter card is. Uh, let's go over mask hunter again. So 
uh, mass counter 4 point 4 plus 2 health so 6 and 2 evade uh, humanoid cultist elite in, in case the prey prey most clues and you, you can discover clues while this is engaged with us and counter card is uh, crypt chill we uh, we test it but I think we're just taking the damage we have no uh, assets in play so minus one we fail we take two damage <laughs> we are nearly dead uh, so this is not good that is the middle space uh, we get a card it is evidence Hmm. So not really liking our chances here. Uh, we need to go to the Saint Mary's Hospital to heal, but our returner is there, and we have no good ways to um, evade it. And we also have the mass hunter. So first action will evade the mass hunter. I have to commit the field work to the test of so 3 vs 2 and remember we have the curses and blesses here so it's a bless we are up by 3 <laughs> we are up by 1 and we fail so this gets removed second action uh, evading 2 versus 2 plus 1 we are able to evade last action will move to the Miskatonic University uh, 2 clues 4 shroud and uh, that is the investigation phase uh, we will shuffle this back in Punch deck. So I had <laughs> high hopes for Joe, but uh, we are taking too many uh, hits to the head. So that is that. So uh, up enemy face this hunts here. Upkeep. This guy readies. We draw a card. Uh, cryptic writings. And we gain one resource. So. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom and counter card for this turn is a hunting night gun. Well, of course. Nothing for us to do but evade. So, first action evade. One versus uh, two versus one. So, we need a zero basically because that guy doubles. So, fail. And now, actually, if we fail the second uh, evade, we have to resign. Otherwise, we will die. That is sad. But that is Arkham. It's a minus one, so we fail. So, last action will actually resign. Because if we move, this guy hits us, then it kills us in the enemy phase. If we evade again, these two move in, hit us and kills us, and that is game, so nothing for us to do. Oh yeah, hunt deck, nothing helpful. So, yeah, uh, last action, we are resigning. So, unfortunately, Joe couldn't get a weapon out, so where are all of our weapons? Well, the next card would have been the Detective's Cult, which would have helped us a lot. Uh, what else? Yeah, sledgehammer. Well, after that, we would have lost <laughs> our weapons. But yeah, sometimes uh, you just don't draw the correct cards, and we weren't able to get the, any any of the card draw uh, inside cards of these three ever to show up. So that is unfortunate. But yeah, last action resign, and we were able to get only one. Um, victory point uh, 
uh, luckily we were uh, getting rid of this uh, unsolved case so we actually got that one experience but yeah that went pretty bad so nothing nothing I could do to prevent that uh, I took a risk and went to the graveyard and got the cool priest on me after that so maybe that wasn't the smartest idea but at least we got the victory points from there and easy tools but unfortunately we were weren't able to get any of the uh, good uh, cultists for us so Peter, Wa Peter Warren would have been good because we are able to get clues Herman Collins we could have discarded cards and Victoria Debro, we had plenty of resources, so we got the burst. So that is unlucky. But yeah, that is uh, Eye of Chaos for you. Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.